Hello everyone, and welcome to Day 8 of the 12 Days of Anime, where I will be talking about the first episode of Gamers. Gamers was a show from 2017 that was a lot more fun than I expected it to be. It's a romantic comedy about people who play video games, and it's a lot of the comedy fueled by misunderstandings. I'm actually not sure if I watched it in 2017 or 18, but I didn't talk about it last year, so I figure let's talk about it today. And specifically focus on episode 1. Because of how I should mute Discord. Because of how it fundamentally goes against everything you would expect from it. And I just love shows that go against expectations. So, you see a main character, not many friends or any friends, and she likes video games. And then the school's gaming club is introduced. Well, what would you think would happen? Well, you probably expect that the main character would be invited to join, maybe have some hesitations, but a couple episodes in, he'd be all into it, discover the joy of playing games with other people, and get to know the other quirky members of the club. And then they would go to big competitions, become the greatest in all of Japan, or the, uh, what's that term? Regional? Not regional. The one above that. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And... The reason you'd expect that is that is how most sports and or other game-related anime go. And well, Gamer starts off like this. You have Amino, main guy, he meets this girl, Tendo. Then Tendo is super popular, loved by everyone. But it turns out she's also a gamer. So she invites him to join the gaming club since she's the founder. And Amino is really excited. He thinks this is the coolest thing ever. So he's really excited to visit the club and probably join. Then goes to the club, meets all the quirky characters, and plays video games with them for hours. And it seems like this could be the start of his great high school life. Tendo even talks about the competitions that they had been in before, so it really seems like that's the direction that the uh, show is going. They all grow closer together, get better at video games together, and they'll become the greatest gaming club in everywhere. They also start getting into the backstories of the characters, why they play video games. And then Tendo is talking about how they will work hard, play hard every day, which is the embodiment of a school game club. And then this other guy named Misumi joins, and all the members are encouraging Amino to join. And he thinks about all his new friends there. And then they have this sentimental music play. All this great build-up. It is wonderful. But then... Nah, I think I'm gonna pass. Yep, he rejected it. Later on in the episode, he talks about how he plays games pretty early for fun. He doesn't care about competition or being the best or anything. And it's not like this is the case where it takes a couple episodes for him to join. No, he just never does. He flat out rejects it. And then the show itself rejects this plot line just going in a completely different direction. I love this defining of expectations. I roll my eyes every time I see this club anime where you just know that the character is going to join. Even if he doesn't want to at first, he will join. Just give it a couple episodes. And yeah, I get that this is the point of it, but that's why I love shows like Gamers. Make you think they're going one way, then they just do something completely opposite. Like if you had a harem where you have one guy and five beautiful girls, and then it turns out he decides, no, I'm going to go date my best friend who's a guy instead. That's something I would like to see just because of how out there that would be. I know there's a show like that, though. I need to ask uh, Mighty Pie what it is at some point when I actually have time to watch it. And I do like how it just goes against all those other characters they built up, thinking that, oh, these are going to become his friends. So it's like, no, they're basically background characters, if that. Though, to be fair, I kind of want more of Misumi's story because, like, it's insane based off what little we get. And it would just be amusing to see like a few episodes dedicated to that story. But I think part of the reason his story is so interesting is that we don't know if that makes sense. Whatever. And speaking of this topic of going against expectations for the school clubs and stuff, I have to mention Free here, since it is a show that also does go beyond the traditional expectations, at least in some ways. Specifically with the event in Eternal Summer. The main character, Haru, gets overwhelmed at all the competition, all the big expectations for him. So he just rejects the ideal of, oh, be the best, fulfill your dreams, become the best in the world, and all that. Because that's not what he wants. He wants to just have fun swimming with his friends. He does it for himself and others, not for his future. And yeah, that episode was really remarkable and was originally going to be the focus of today's video, with like gamers to be like a secondary topic. But I feel like Gamers just embodies this breaking of expectations with the school game sport clubs, so that's why it's the focus. 
So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope if you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed Gamers and Free if you've seen it. I do pretty much recommend both of those, at least to varying degrees. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will talk to you tomorrow.